Persona 6 Studio Live Desks are named that way because they are as good in the studio as they are for live work. What you may not see uh, at first sight is the fact that this actually has an integrated 64 channel interface built in. Now I've got the 32SX here which means there's 32 inputs and you can add an extra 32 with Presonus's AVB stage boxes. So it's great whether you're tracking a full band or you're trying to integrate a rather expansive selection of synthesizers. This could be the center of your studio. So let's take a look and see how it runs. Now, normally, as you'd use a desk like this, you'd bring audio into each track. But in today, we're going to look at door mode application, which essentially routes only the controls to control your DAW. In this case, today, we're running Personas' own Studio One version 5. And there's never been a better time to get a Personas Studio Live S Series desk because until the end of August, you can claim a set of Eris E7 monitors absolutely free. And if you buy one of the Series 3 rack mixers, then you can claim one of these, which is a PX1 condenser mic, absolutely free with those. This is really easy to get your mix up and running with. And um, we're going to start off in the normal way where you'd be using this in an instant. So I've got my computer coming through on inputs one and two for audio um, that I've routed here as I would do when running this like a live desk. The difference is when we go into this UC net menu, I'm going to select my computer from the menu. And now I can press this DAW button and it should all spring to life. You can see here, I've got my different channels assigned along the whole length of all 24 faders here. The scribble strips at the top will give me a track name and the track number and also show me the pan and automation settings. I'm not really using any automation in this so far, so all that's off, but it will tell you what the state is. As you can see, we're split into two groups and exactly the same as you would do when using this as a live desk, we can split the right hand section into um, working as groups for auxes or DCAs. So if I pop on the groups and we can um, then solo off any part in exactly the same way. Now I've prepared a little remix of one of the demo projects that come with Studio One. As you can see here, I've got transport controls. So record, play, stop, and return to zero. And if I play through, we can treat these groups exactly as if they were just being controlled on the computer. Solo the bass. mute them off and of course select them and selecting it brings them up onto the screen now I can see an overlay of the channel I can mute I can solo I can pan uh, and you can also control the inserts so if I want to add anything specifically I'm on the base group now so you know what might you do there perhaps just a, a, a limiter press the plus button. I can then go down um, and add a plugin. Now I could use the standard limiter, which is the one built into Studio One, or go down into any um, standard VST or audio unit plugin, dependent on uh, what computer platform you're running. Um, but you know, I can go down and find say fab filter I suppose it does take a little bit there we go fab filter limiter and then it pops up not on that screen but it does pop up on my computer screen it's actually assigned 
to the knobs here. Using the UCNet remote function that's on the computer, if we expand that out and then touch any of the controls, um, you can actually route these to anything. That, uh, now, if it's a Personas plugin, it's already done, but on this fab filter plugin, I can actually manually um, assign it. So if I pick the gain button here, and I'm going to just move knob number one, press the little arrow, and then that literally just links the two together. Um, let's change the let's set the attack control so number two i'll set to attack there it goes number three i'll set to release and there you've got it we've got control over the plugin and this will work for anything, be it Presonus' own or third party. If we do, we use one of the Presonus plugins. So let's go and add, say, Presonus' own limiter now down to there. Not only does it pop up on here, but the controls are already routed through. So in this way, I can see that the gain setting controls the gain. The next one is the ceiling and the next one is the threshold. What's interesting here is that the VU meter will also work. So if I play through, let's solo that and then start cranking this a bit. And you can see the actual uh, compressor light comes on exactly as it would do when you were running this as a live desk. We can also add some send effects. So let's come out of the bass and go into the piano. Now I can't see the piano at the minute, but if I group over here, it's here on channel 17. So we're gonna select that. I'm going to add a send. I've got two that are set up and they should be here. So let's add a mix verb and we'll add the analog delay as two sends. You can turn them on and off here. Um, and also to control the levels, there's another neat feature. So the mix buttons here will now, um, which you normally use for monitor mixes in a live situation, now do your aux sends. So you can see here, there we go, so mix one is the mix verb and mix two is the delay. So if we play that through, there we go, get some of that delay on, take the mix verb down a bit. We can also open windows in the DAW directly from the desk. In this case, if I press A, B, and D, we can open those up, and handily, C brings up the mixer, which is probably the button that you'll be using this most for. There's also this mode where if I press the edit live recording button, we get this little control panel. Now this is really handy, it gives you a time uh, stamp, it gives you locator information, it shows you your tempo, and of course is a touchscreen. So we can turn looping on and off, we can turn the metronome on and off, and you can also do that with the tap button here. And um, also we can jump between um, locators. So if I move on to the second locator, that should now drop me in, in the next section of the song. The Studio Live Desks really do combine many of the best features of the Faderport 16, but with the addition of the screen and the control section at the top. 
They're expandable up to 64 EIO using Presonus's AVB stage boxes. So no matter how big a studio setup you're trying to integrate, it can probably fit in with your requirements. As forever, if you've got any questions, then leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you for another video again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>